Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of the Man Bun YT on YouTube comic book reading. Today we're going to be reading a Marvel comic book, The Cosmic Adventure, Quasher, an Infinity Gauntlet crossover and in, uh, in his all new and final costume, Till Death Do Us Part. Till Death Do Us Part. Till Death Do Us Part. <clears throat> I have, I do have a little microphone on right here, so I don't have to be loud. The threat to existence that Quasar was groomed to combat has at long last been vanquished. Vanquished. But the protector of the universe's triumphant mood will be short-lived. For even as he ferries his companions, Moondragon and Markakakari, onward an equally formidable menace looms on the horizon, about to throw down his infinity gauntlet. So you let... So you mean while I was passed out, you went and defeated the... Defeated Malstorm and ran off to the towers to get new duds. Uh, something like that. The 8 billion year funeral. Next time, how about saving a little something for me to do Q-Star Sheesh. You sure know how to make a guy feel super flourish, flushes. Don't worry, Mac. You'll always be flourish in my book. Ha! Boy, you are in a good mood. When I signed up to be Mr. Mangan's secretary, I never dreamed I'd be getting mixed up in such crazy stuff. Ken, do you think that that will all of Mr. Vaughn's powers to find some way to survive? I wish I knew, Kayla. Yoo-hoo! Anybody home? I wish I... Oh! Mr. Van Gogh. Oh, Mr. Van Gogh, Wendell in the flesh. What happened? We thought you two were dead. Were, were, were dead. Long story, but obviously we got better suffice to say that was that, that was cosmic menace I was appointed to combat is good for good. All Maelstrom's little helpers have been locked away, and I even got my hands put back, good as new. Oh, it's so good to see you. I was so, so frightened that you, sorry, you and Ken had to suffer through that, all that, just because you happened to be my friends. I swear I'll do everything I can to prevent anything from like that, um, prevent anything from, anything like that from, um, her eyes making me melt enough. Huh? Heather, apparently you don't understand something, Quasara. I love you. I am the perfect woman for you. Therefore, I think it would be appropriate for you to return my affections. Sorry, Gayla. Now hold on one dog. Now hold on one doggone moment here. Manu Dragon, I'm flattered by your feelings towards me, but I don't think you're well versed in how love works. Of course I am. Kayla, you're glad to see your employer's alive, but you don't feel love for him, do you? Well, I... Mm, no, it's Mike that I love. Hmm. You made her say that, and you and do that, didn't you? And now that I think of it, you... Use your mental powers to push Kayla into night, into Mike's arms that night. I told her my secret identity too. What? What? Oh, what? What was I? I'm so embarrassed. I have released her, Crossar. Now listen to me and heed me well. I am the ideal woman for you. I am the only human being who can truly appreciate your cosmicness, cosmeticness. And share it with you to the fullest. 
to love anybody else but me would be a total waste of time and every and energy. Heather, you listen to me. You're a very smart woman, but you don't seem to have a clue on how love works. Logic has nothing to do with it. It's about feelings and caring and spiritual connection. It's about placing another person's needs and desires and their uh, desires and their besides your own. I'm not saying I could never love you. There are many things about you I admire. What I'm saying is right now I don't love you and love her. Find out what I already know by being inside her mind that she is shallow and ordinary. And when you are ready to know Profound, mature, cosmetic love. You are see, I am the only woman for you. Good day. Slam. Hmm. Hmm. After all, we've been. After all, we've been through together in the past few days. I prefer it had it ending like that. Hmm. People, I have one last task to understand. Undertake before it ends. All the loose ends of the cosmetic assassin affair are tied up. Why don't you guys see what you got? You can salvage of the of our business here. Then tonight we're going to have a victory celebration like you wouldn't believe. Okay. <clears throat> as extra extra as I am to have not to not have the big cosmic threat heading over my head anymore. I can't forget that part of the price of my victory was my cosmetic mentor, Eon died. Eon, the eight billion year old who being who appointed me a pro protector of the universe, we went wonder if his cosmetic awareness enabled him to predict his own death. He's not going to be able to cheat death like make like Mac and I did. His demise was part of the pact. The great aspect being of the universe struck. Being this bookcase, I used to have a portal to the lot pocket dimension in which he lived. The Eonverse. It was sealed off when Eon and I had a brief falling out. Then I, it's time I reopened it so I can go in and pay my last respects. Issue number 19 again. There could, I, there, could it only be a week ago that I learned that Universe wasn't really starry space that Eon's body filled 95% of it. Seems like, seems like a long lifetime ago. It's so eerie in here now. So quiet and cold. Guess I never noticed how warm and mos hospital Eon's life essence made this place. Hi Eon, it's me. Quasar, I don't know if you can hear me. After everything I've been through, I hate, hesitate to make any assumptions, but I, but anyway, I've come to say goodbye. I never felt I got the chance to really know what, what in the world. I sense an alien presence here. I'm not alone. Well, whatever violating... Well, whatever's violating my mentor's body is going to have to answer to me. Minutes later. What in the some sort of structure? A source ship? A cathedral? There, there's a throng of beings outside it. Hey, what's going on here? The name's Corsair and it is my... And it's my... Mentor's body you're standing in. Ah, Quasar, Aeon's protector. That's me. Who are you? I am Faith and we are the mourners. The who? Our religious order is dedicated to the common passion of the passing of all great things in the universe. Galaxies, stars, planets, even individuals of cosmic note. It's not every day that an omnipotent time being such as Ian dies. How did you know? It is our task to know. Excuse me, great protector. Would you like? Would you be so kind as to provide me with certain information about the great deceased? What? 
it will, it will be used in the service as well as being inscribed in the permanent record. Well, how did Great Ian die? Well, uh, he had me destroy a vital part of his brain in order to keep his assassin form extracting the secret of cosmetic awareness. You then are, are his great uh, his great assassin? No, I was his bodyguard, though I admit it, it doesn't look like I did a very good job of it. Does great Eon have any next of kin? Um, Not that he never mentioned to me. He never mentioned. Did he leave a last will and testament? Any instructions about his funeral arrangements? What sort of service? What to who to invite? Where he would like his tomb? No, we had no time to discuss it. Then would it be acceptable to empower us with the responsi responsibility to handle the arrangements in the answer manner we see fit? Sure, I guess. You've been most cooperative, great bodyguard. Say this isn't going to cost me anything, is it? No, the mourners are a non-profit, not, not for profit sect. Mind if I look around a bit? And from what I can tell, the mourners are what they appear to be, a religious select composed of a whole bunch of different alien races. Their ship carries no weapons, just tons of rebellious artifacts. Guess there's no harm letting them do what they want. The funeral service will commence in three to f in three fourteen of your days. We would be honored if you could attend. I'll be there. I actually like the idea of there being a big to do for Eon. If anyone deserves a big funeral, it's an eight billion year old being. <clears throat> meanwhile, else meanwhile, as elsewhere. Awfully descent of you to let me awfully descent of you to let me sit here besides you, Lord Damos. I know you fashioned this seat for Mistress Death, but I have not I but have not I Mephito, greatest of all demons of earth, provided to be a worthy companion to your emerance. Ha 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 my lord, pray tell me what is so funny. I have just Perceive that one of the that one of my greatest enemies is dead. Not that I believe I could ever replace your mistress death in your affections, heaven forbid. I just think that as a counselor, a lieutenant and a devoted servant, you could not find a a victim of your your halving of the universe population, sire? No, a population impulsive did not affect him. The likes of him. Who, sire? Behold, ancient Eon, second eldest of the time, being the entire entity most res responsibility for my first ignatius defeat. It was Eon who brought into being the rentless Drax, the destroyer, to plague me and appointed the late Captain Marvell, protector of the universe, and gave him the power to thought my early. Machina nuns, if not you were, you who, if not you who killed Eon, Millord. While I have been engaged in my own agenda, there rose an earth being called Mal Malstorm, a being whose power might have revealed my own. <coughs> this Malstorm now in irrevocably destroyed himself, maneuvered, maneuvered. Marvel is the successor into killing Eon. Thus, I am sparred the trouble and have one less powerful enemy. Sire, you do not feel cheated that you could not dispatch Eon personally? Not in the least, for I am Thanos, Lord of all things, and even in death, I shall make Eon serve me. Brilliant plan, Millord Brilliant. Brilliant. Now get off my beloved's throne, Lackey, immediately, Sire. Earth. Earth, the New York City penthouse rented to HB's secretary, secretary, Elias Monogragon. Croissoir, croissoir, croissoir. 
Why is it that most people lack insight and cannot see what is the best for them? And if, if only your mind was not proof to mental preservation. I am not a I am not a woman who takes rejection well. Once when I was passed over as Celestial Mandana, I swore I would never allow myself to feel the sting of being and also ran ever again. In the classic giant size Avengers number four. And yet by now yet now by the dark dragon I feel the pain and the shame of personal failure again. I cannot, will not abide by it. If I can't have you, the most cosmetically connected human being in existence, as my concert, I don't want anybody. But I'm not ready to concede defeat as of yet. As yet, it is merely time to change tactics. And here, within my personal star cruiser, I can. Contemplating my next plan of action, free of all earth, of all earthly distractions. Of this much, I am certain my masquerade as a mere woman being is over. I may not, I may have been born Heather Douglas, daughter of Arthur Douglas and Yevity Steckley, but Mono Dra Moon Dragon is who I really am. Ever since being taken to Titan and raised there at the age of four, and it is. Moon Dragon, who shall snare Quarazor's heart? The question is now. Aha! An ally is what I need, and I know just where to find one. Eh, a spaceship. Within a within a with within a cloaking device, rendering it invisible. It has nothing to do with me. That night in Wisconsin, that you gaily, you're home from work early. Weenie, guess again, Mom. Ah, my bracelets gave me, give me away. Oh, soon it's so good to see you. What's the occasion? I wanted to let you know that the good news, Mom. I just got done defeating the main bad guy I was appointed to protect the universe from. The universe, the universe is safe, I'm fine, and I can't imagine I ever have to go through anything so dangerous again. That's wonderful, son, and I see you change your costume, too. Yeah, I like it. You look great. Mom, I uh, want to apologize for how badly I acted at Dad's funeral. I was really bummed out, and well, since then, I met, made peace with Dad's memory. You don't have to apologize, Wanderwell. If I can't figure out when you're upset by now, I should turn in my mother's license. You're the greatest mom, and I promise I'm going to visit you more often from now on. I won't hold you to it. <laughs> Three days later, having celebrated with his friends, picked up the pieces of his professional life, and helped a fellow Avenger on one of his cases, Quaskar returns to the e Eonverse at the appointed hour. Phew, looks like I'm the last to arrive. That totem pole almost looks like it's supposed to be Eon. Could that be what Eon really looked like? He told me that I, that all I've ever seen of him was that part he extended into my universe. And who the heck are all the guests? The section, that section below me looks like it's Populated with death figures of a couple dozen different worlds. Oh, <clears throat> I hope they don't make me sit in that section. See Captain America, number 392, currently on sale. Ah, Eon Champion has arrived. Let us begin. Right this way, great Quasquar. Hello. Life be praised. Right. Dear friends, we are gathered together at this junction in space, time to mark the passing of a great individual, a singular entity who made an enormous contribution to the universe we all share. Eon, he was called, and he was the eldest of eternity's children. He is beloved to have 
come into being moments after time began. He is said to have aligned himself with the cosmic axis about which the universe resolved. He was one of the great abstract entities of the universe, and yet the and yet he went beyond abstraction through his inf infinite caring. He became one of the chief caretakers of life in the cosmos. Truly, the universe may never see his like again. Woo, unto us great eon is gone. Ancient of days was he, but not even he was forever his life. Enhance each of our own, and his death makes us re examine our own relationship with the exterior able consonants of existence. Weird, but what faith is saying it is more comforting to me than what the minister said at my very at my own at my own father's funeral. Maybe I'm not the atheist I thought I was, maybe I just haven't discovered the God. The God that's right for me. <clears throat> Stop these proceedings. You pay your respects to Antony who deserves none. Eon was bloated was a bloated non Antony who did nothing but take up too much space. The universe is better off without him. Thanos, do not antagonize antagonize him, Sardan. How did he you are not welcome here? Not only my only regret is that I had nothing to do with his demise. Oh, man, and I told my mom my life wouldn't be as dangerous anymore. Thanos was the threat to the universe my processor was appointed to. Combat. He's easily my threat. Maelstrom's equal. Your, disrespect, your dis disrespect has no place here, Thanos. Why don't you just leave? Why don't you just be a sweetheart and leave? And if I don't, Earth Boy... Then I make you be my guest. Faith, you better see to getting everyone to safety. No telling what bully boy here may decide to do. Don't think he's buying into my tough guy act. Energy flux. Oh boy. Flash, trying to hit a guy from behind, Mr. T. Everybody clear out. You... You must have been teacher's pet at supervillain school. Not sure what what to try with this guy. I've been told he stood up to getting Thor's hammer or smashed in his face without flinching. But that as it may, I've got to keep him occupied till the mourners can get to safety. Womp. Know what this verse is made of. Know what this fist is made of, Donnie? The energy you shot me with. Neat, huh? No, ineffective. I am Thanos, the new god of all this. With my infinity gauntlet, I control all aspects of reality. Sorry, Mr. T, but I have heard I have a hard time thinking of a walking brick outhouse with a bad complexion as God. No offense. And you, Eon's whelp, would be wise to bow down before me. Uttering Whitacombs when you're moments away from absolute annihilation. You are unlike those with whom I usually contend. I prefer them. Ha! Form the heaviest quantum construct I could muster and caught him off guard. With any luck, uh-oh. But a boom Crossroom! Meanwhile, back on Earth, please like, comment, and subscribe to this video. Within this singular looking dwelling, I sense cosmic power not unlike my own. Who resides there? I sense a simple energy thrust. And what is it you want, golden woman? You are the silver surfer. I am in you. I am called her. I have returned to the world of my organization. Why is not important, important anymore? What is important is that I have decided to fulfill my genetic 
destiny to locate my ideal counterpart. If you're curious, though, see Alpha Flight number 98 through 100. Woman, I have no time for this right now. The universe is in, is in utmost danger, even as we have the population of the universe that is at risk of being destroyed. If you are not willing to join the fight, I've had my fill fighting of late and meet with him so we might create the most preference of beings the universe has ever seen. Then away with you then. Slam. I felt it. Energy resistance reside of the surfer's involved body. Traces of the man. Traces of the man I thought dead all this time. My soulmate, the male me. What do I do now? Thanosphere, are you enjoying yourself, Earth Boy? Does it amuse to see you to see how puny your power is compared that to that of a god? Get off it, Thani. You're a purple gorilla with delusional delusions of grand Yura. If you're a god, then I'm the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> I am unfamiliar with them, but what you are is an annoying internet flea. Whoa. I wish for you to acknowledge my exhaled citation, boy. I want you to realize that I control all reality. You only exist because I permit you to. As Eon's last legacy, you are particularly unimpressed. Still, I wish you to demonstrate respect for your superior before I revoke your existence. Sorry, Purple Pus Ba'a. Ning, save my respects for those who earn it in ink, if you don't mind. Woosh, tried to cross me, but I quantum jumped to safety. I ripped a hole in Eon's atmosphere, but it's not like he needs it anymore. Teleportation, eh? Kinda. You have abilities your processor did not. Now that they will avail you against me any more than Marvels did. <laughs> oh no, you mean not even if I direct a hundred megaton blast right between your eyes, ears. Crotroom! Hope this does something. I haven't been able to tap into the energy of his infinity gauntlet unless he's projecting some of it. Guess his infinity gems aren't related to infinity, my cosmic benefit or Benefitator, Earth Boy. Oh Lord. Oh crud. Thanos has reformed below. Your phone tour antic have been monetarily amusing. But I have other greater foes to torment. I go, but I leave you with a parting gift. Some playmates plucked from Eon's vesicle memory and given from form from the substance of Eon's body. What in fitting the fashion gladiators from the ground to plague you, you even as Eon once fashioned the destroyer from the ground to plague me? Behold, Quasar, four previous wilders of your previous quantum lands brought back to life by the Absolute power that is mine. Three of the long existence archipelions. Marvel Boy, the previous wearer of your wrist trinkets. Trinita, the trill, the first non human boy to quantum brand processor. Processor. And finally, the Stiglin Starbender, the first projector of the universe ever appointed by Eon. All of them armed with fully functioned replicas of your quantum bands and sharing a common purpose to, to destroy you. One purpose, one perhaps two of these gladiators you might be able to do best, but all four of them not a chance. Farewell, Quasora, or shall I say, fare poorly? Uh, and as Thanos teleports back to his palace, Quasar is left to 
face his foes unaware of Thanos' true purpose in journeying into the Eonverse. Return his dead enemy's six million mile wide body inside out. Suddenly, the stuff of Ian's body comes spewing out of every portal he's ever made into our universe, even those that have been sealed for millennia. On Earth, that portal is located in Four Freedom Plaza, in the office in which Korskar conducts business in his civilian guise. Within minutes, Eon Matter fills the small business suite and bursts out. Though Eon has been brain dead for several days now, much of his immense body has yet to become aware of that fact and continues to function as it always has. In three hours, Eon's body will engulf the island of Manhattan. In three days, the world continued in the next issue. Thank you, everybody. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. This has been the Marvel Comics. This was a good one. Thank you, everybody.